Good evening, everybody. Um, here is my much delayed question and answer video that I mentioned some time back that I would go ahead and do. And I asked you guys to submit some questions for me that you may have had. Uh, and I am here to answer them for you. So, uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to try to make this short and simple. And uh, for those of you who uh, submitted questions, I really appreciate it. I got some really good good questions that I'm looking forward to being able to answer for you. And um, I, I appreciate your participation. So thank you for watching, and um, let, let's get let's get going then. So uh, one of the, a couple of the questions I have here. One of the first ones is a, is an interesting question and a very good one at that. Uh, is your family musical, or do you? I'm assuming do you have uh, family members who have pursued the arts or art of music in any form, um, or any musical talent? Um, in general, I, I I think we've all kind of tried our hand, or not. I don't want to say all of us, but uh, I know. Uh, both of my sisters and I, we all took choir through school. Uh, my oldest sister was pretty good at guitar. Uh, my, I know my a great a great aunt on my father's side. Uh, I, I understand she was a wonderful singer and a pretty big deal. So uh, unfortunately, I didn't know her. And um, but it's it's re it's really it's really cool that I that there is some uh, vocal talent in my family. And. Um, uh, yeah, so vocally that that would be it. Uh, I think uh, well, my mother, my mother's mother, my grandmother, uh, she's a wonderful piano player, and uh, I'm actually uh, taking a few lessons from her. And I hope, Grandma, I hope that I can be half the piano player that you are. And I know uh, my grandmother's very enthusiastic about being able to pass that on to somebody in the family. So. Other than that, um, I think I'm I'm kind of the random uh, I'm I'm the random one in the family, the black sheep in more ways than one. But uh, vocally, I, I'm to my knowledge, um, I'm the only one in the family. So that is that. Good question. Thank you. Uh, what else do we got here? Do you get nervous on stage? The answer to that is yes and no. Um, mostly beforehand. I, I'm a nervous wreck before uh, going on stage. I'll probably pace the whole time or I'll sit in a chair and, and, and shake my leg for, you know, up until the minute I got to go on. But uh, it's very nerve wracking. I think what's scariest about it is that you don't know how the audience is going to respond to you, especially if they don't know who you are. Um, that's a, that's the scariest thing about it. So that really, you know, gets your nerves working. And you want obviously, I want to be perceived well. I want people to like me. I want people to like my performance. I I don't want to screw up. Uh, so yeah, it's it's very nerve wracking. I don't anticipate that ever going away. So um, I don't drink before I go on stage. That's a rule. Um, that wouldn't be wise for a multitude of reasons. So it's not like I can have a you know a nice cocktail before I go on stage. Um, so yes, I get very nervous. But I would say after the first 20, 20 or 30 seconds, uh, once I kind of get a feel for what I'm working with and, and the audience, um, it, it starts to dissipate and go away. And I start to kind of get much more comfortable and more interactive with the audience. So, And, and I'm, I'm still learning... You know, and, and and becoming comfortable up there, and that's going to take some time. So um, it's all a growing experience, and I'm I'm almost positive I will always probably freak out before going on stage. But I will say I have gotten much better with it. I, I'm I'm I don't I don't panic as much as I used to. So great question. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, what was your inspiration for your EP for for the album? Um, at the time that I wrote it, which was approximately about, I don't know, maybe a year ago, um, yeah, I, whatever I was dealing with emotionally at the time, um, coming out of a relationship, there were a lot of uh, 
well, obviously a lot of things that that contributed to my writing for the album, and I'm sure it's it's apparent and obvious. Uh, but that's just what I was dealing with at the time, and it was it was a good thing because it it, it allowed me to be very creative, and it allowed me to put that down in a song on paper, and 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 you know and. And I think it, a lot of people can relate to it when they do listen to it, which I hope they do, or you do. <clears throat> but uh, it, it was a very personal project and a very personal album, And but I'm very proud of it. And even though, you know, I've since dealt with whatever emotions I was feeling at the time, whatever I, you know, uh, however I came across in these songs, uh, it, it's, I'm so proud of it, and, um, you know, whatever I was dealing with at that time in my life was meant to be. So, um, yeah, I, I would say, uh, the whole project was very personal. But, um, I think, I think most people can relate to it in a lot of ways, so. Uh, which I think leads into the next question I have here. Um, what was your favorite song on the album? I think I'm always going to have a soft spot for Drag Me Down, and I think the reason for that is, is not only is it because, was it because it was my first song that I wrote, uh, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm proud of it because it was, I think it was most organic. Uh, and when I say organic, I mean, uh, there, there was no formula, it just happened. And, and that, I think, is when you get the most authentic uh, story and the most authentic sound and I think Drag Me Down really really accomplished that and and, and there was so many there's a lot of elements to Drag Me Down and why I love it but um, I'm proud of it I, th I think that I definitely have a soft spot for it and, and I think maybe in a close second um, would be vulnerable probably because it was very personal and uh, I wanted it to be a ballad, but I didn't want it to be a power ballad. I, I just wanted it to be kind of in the middle. So um, I like them all. I'm proud of them all, and, and they all tell a different story. And uh, I kind of tried my hand at a, a few different styles. And uh, you know, obviously I have all these questions organized, so uh, if you find that I'm conveniently able to... Uh, transition them to the next question, that's why. <clears throat> um, the next question is, do you plan on sticking with the same uh, genre or musical direction with my music or my songs in the future? And uh, the answer to that is, I don't know. Um, I, I, while I'm proud of the project, I don't know what direction I'll go into next when I write my next song or when I record my next uh, album or track. It, it could go any way. Uh, and that's kind of half the fun is is experimenting and finding finding my niche and finding my sound. That's 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 part of the thrill of it. So who knows? Maybe maybe you might get a country song out of me or something. No, I'm just kidding. I, I'm from Orange County. I I'm not a country singer, but you never know. Um, I'm I'm really open to exploring a, a you know diverse sounds and and you know who knows. I'm looking forward to to exploring all options and 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 uh, that's yeah. So good question, thank you. Um, future plans. What are my future plans? Uh, right now, it, it's about getting out there, getting my name out there. I I think this is the year for Chris August. Uh, uh, there's gonna be you know you'll be seeing more of me around, um, whether it be in articles or media. Um, my name's gonna get out there and you will see me. So, you know, we're I'm just gonna keep the momentum going. I really wanna promote Drag Me Down the you know, the project and the album and I really want people to uh I wanna get some feedback on what people think about it and kind of build from there. So right like I said, right now it's it's just about exposure and getting my name out there. I want people to know who I am and to, to get a feel for me and who and, and what I'm about. So um as of right now, today, that's that's what I'm doing. Um, we'll be doing probably some gigs in the, in the year. Uh, we'll just take it one day at a time and see where that takes me. And I left this question for last. 
saving the best for last and uh, uh, embarrassingly well not embarrassingly but I'm gonna blush when I answer the question but uh, uh, the question is do you have a girlfriend and the answer to that is no and uh, no I don't and, and I'm okay with that right now you know having a girlfriend entails uh, well requires time commitment and uh, energy and of course I, I'm willing to provide all of that but I just want to make sure it's the right situation for me and I want to be smart about it going into it and uh, you know so uh, as I stand currently right now no I'm currently uh, well I, I am single but uh, I'm, I'm very open and looking forward to what my love life will will uh, provide for me in the future and uh, what's to come of that. You never know. Could be tomorrow. Uh, but right now, I'm, I'm, I'm living for me and, and doing for me and just pursuing my dream, my passion, and I couldn't do it without all of you. So thank you for being my support and thank you for, for standing by me and, and, and being so encouraging. I, I definitely couldn't do it without you and, and you guys keep me moving forward and, and, and you keep me pushing and this is a scary a scary industry to pursue and um, but at the end of the day I love it and I, I love making music and I have so much so much growing to do and and I thank you so that's it for right now. I'm, I'm going to cut it off. Uh, I Again, thank you for your inquiries and thank you for your submissions for questions. Uh, maybe I'll do another one another time. But uh, that that's it for now. So thank you for watching and for your support and your love. I couldn't do it without you. Spread the word. Tell people about Chris August. Uh, I'm coming at you. I'm coming your way. So keep a lookout. There's much of me to be seen in 2012. Um, that's it. So thank you and uh, have a good night. Ciao.